few days ago, I was walking through the MRT complex in Bangkok, that's like a subway, and I encountered this advertisement. Well, I can take inspiration from photographs like that. I thought that that was a very beautiful photograph, and, you know, of course it was advertising a product. I have no such constraints. I can take my inspiration from, you know, a beautiful advertisement and, you know, see, see if I can apply it, you know, to my photography. I mean, what the heck, I have a house full of models. So that's what I'm doing today is I've, uh, I've gathered my Thai cuties together and said, hey, I'm, I wanna do something like this picture. And I don't wanna copy the picture, so I didn't even tell them what to do or even make, I just showed them the picture and said, this is what we're gonna be up to today. And let's see what comes out. This is uh, a Nikon Z7, now, uh, when I bought it, and I still think today, uh, is has the highest pixel density rating in its class of a full frame camera, full frame uh, mirrorless camera. Uh, this is a 50 millimeter Nikkor lens. It's an equipment intensive pursuit photography. You can go out and spend a lot of money. You don't have to, you have to spend some, but you can, you can buy cheaper stuff. I was just in a position to afford it. So I bought myself some good stuff. Uh, for, uh, for Studio Light, I bought uh, this baby here. This is a, uh, a, a Godox uh, SL150. It's a video light, it's a, it's a spotlight, uh, rather than a strobe or a flash, as we used to call them, because I use it for video as well. I also got the Godox uh, diffuser. Uh, I learned that's an important piece of equipment. Then for a smaller light, I got this uh, Wii light. This is a, uh, a Chinese brand light, and the guy who sold me the Godox talked me into this. He said this is a good light uh, for uh, outdoor use. It comes with a battery pack, so it could be used uh, as a portable light. And, um, and yeah, so I'll be using that today as well, I believe. I do have a great studio space here because I have... Uh, natural light that comes in as well. Um, I'm learning. Now, I'm not an engineer. I don't know, you know, a, a, a Kelvin from a hole in the wall. Uh, I just do trial and error when I'm, when I'm setting up my photography. That's something that you can do with these newer cameras now. They'll give you, you know, an image in, in the viewfinder, uh, in not only the viewfinder, but on the back, on the, on the display in the back. That will be, you know, a, a close enough representation of what the photograph will look like, and you can make adjustments uh, on the go. You don't have to have the level of technical knowledge that one used to need when dealing with film. Yeah, there's one more piece of equipment, important piece of equipment that I want to show you uh, that I've used quite a lot. Uh, I use it uh, as a diffuser here in the studio. And of course, outdoors, I've used it as a light source quite effectively. And it's a reflector. Get one of these, they're inexpensive. You get the, this folding type, it's a little weird on how you fold it up, but you, you, you do fold it up into a little circle that's easy to carry in a backpack. And I'll be using this today as a diffuser for, for, for this light. So uh, uh, it, it's a versatile piece of equipment. And I found, you know, for, for reflecting sunlight back onto a subject, it, it, it's a wonderful light source. And it's why you see a lot of them in, you know, in. You know, a lot of professionals using them too. They're uh, they're inexpensive. They're they're portable. They're easy to carry around, and they're a really effective piece of equipment. My real advantage in photography, however, so I the cups I say, yeah. is that I have models, and this is my lead model. I have a house full of uh, Thai Instagram ladies.
there. So if you really want to do well at photography, you have to move to Thailand, uh, rent a great big house, and accumulate a house full of Thai cuties to, uh, to be models for you. We have an up-and-comer over there. And of course, always have a chaperone around just in case, uh, I don't know, I just a good idea to have an adult in the room. And uh, yeah, so uh, thank you, girls. That was a wonderful photo shoot. <laughs> cop and cop. Hey, Kelly.